Hello, my name is Santosh. Welcome to the part 2 of Adobe Experience Manager Learning. This is a lesson 3, AEM Dialogs. In this lesson, I am going to walk you through AEM Dialog functionality with respect to different modes they could be run with. Let's highlight the objective of the lesson. Today we will understand the main role of edit dialogs, learn their structure and configuration, find out the difference between classic UI and touch UI dialogs. At the end of session, we will create a sample edit dialog. Let's figure out the main role of dialog in AEM. Dialogs are a key element of your component as they provide an interface for authors to configure and provide input to that component. Depending on the complexity of the component, your dialog may need one or more tabs to keep the dialog short and to sort the input fields. As you already know, last version of AEM have two different interfaces. One, the classic UI and the touch UI. So, what is the difference between them from technical point of view? When you implement dialog in classic UI, you work with ext.js, object-oriented JavaScript framework conducted by Essential Component. It provides the functionality of so-called X-Type. It's the part of ext.js framework for making custom view and logic in classic UI dialogs. A node name dialog should be created to begin configuring fields for classic UI. However, when you implement dialog for touch UI, you should use a granite UI, which is JavaScript framework provided by Adobe. Instead of X type, it works with resource type in dialog. Keep in mind, dialogs for touch UI should be named as CQ dialog, not just dialog like for classic UI. So, in general, Classic UI contains almost all features provided by AEM, but Adobe keeps adding new and new features specifically for Touch UI. Probably, Classic UI will be deprecated in time. Please note, features provided by AEM for Touch UI are not available in Classic UI. Dialogs for Classic UI and Touch UI are built in a separate way. So, Touch UI contains standard fields, for instance, Path Browser, which should be created for interactively providing path. Select fields for choosing option from multiple predefined ones. Text field for typing in plain text, rich text, that enables after to enter formatted text. All of these fields are like a small components which are used only for dialogs based on JSP or HTL code. On this slide, you can see sample dialog of the type. For classic UI, dialogs contains a standard fields as well. The main difference is that for classic UI, the code base is built on ext.js framework and the only way of manipulating on fields is through with JavaScript code. On this slide, you can see a sample dialog in classic UI as well. Here we can see examples of dialogs developed in touch UI at the top and classic UI at the bottom. Both components have pretty similar dialog. For touch UI, you see the property sling resource type and for classic UI, property's name is X type. It should be used on ext.js level. It's pretty important to understand between the regular dialog and design dialog. For example, you may have a page at following path that is content, your site name, en, us, your page. After clicking save button in design dialog, the data will be saved at etc design site name enus template and jcr content your component 
and as a result the component we have a similar configuration with design for all templates for which we save the dialog when we use a regular dialog the data will be stored under the open page and this data will be used only for particular page during the development it is often needed to inherit not only components but also dialogs such approach provides the possibility to avoid duplicates in repository and gives flexibility in configuring dialogs for components from one place if you need to full inherit the entire component you can simply create an override dialog at the level of the child component in this case the child component will have exactly the same dialog as the parent but for some case when it's necessary to inherit only part of the dialog and change the other part in change the other part in this case you can use x type cq include property for classic ui and include component for touch ui all you have to do is specify the path which needs to be included so let's have a demo to create the uh, touch ui i'm not going to present uh, to creating the classic ui because it is now deprecated so i'll be going to share uh, a demo with uh, using the v retail and let's create the component first under the application and v retail so here i'll be going to create a new component create create component and all the details i have already provided what kind of a component you will be going to create the purpose of that component label title and the group so here i have created the component and let's use this component in the form of htl so here it is and if i would like to create the dialog what i would do is to prefer always to just simply copy from the foundation otb component so here we have the dialog of the title components let's copy it and paste it under your created customized component save and let's look at the dialog framework which is having some different widgets and let's also customize those according to our requirements so what we will be going to do is mention the purpose of this widget that is to get the value of count so here i'll be also editing the label that's account description demo count you can mention whatever you need and also name property will be count and i would like to change this sling resource type with the number field and to get this value we should mention the one with the slightly that's the simple code to get the value is properties dot count so you can also change some other properties like here we have the title count component and let's shout out this component on the v retail page the 
page is loading loading yep it is loaded let's drag and drop the component here is counter and edit try to edit that component and you can see this is the number field where you can increase and also decrease the number and this is the description which we have already provided as a demo count you can also change it some uh, other out of the box widgets like you can also view as a full page and the component name which we have given into the dialog this is actually in uh, touch UI we have implemented and let's go back to our presentation and I guess that's all as of now hope you enjoyed this video thank you